making me kind of sick right now so i'm about to do my makeup light makeup guys i'm doing my makeup vacation makeup so being that this is probably gonna be for breakfast and lunch makeup today i want it to be matte so right now i'm moisturizing and i'm using my olay all-time favorite moisturizer and i'm just getting my face saturated because even though you want your face to be matte, you still have to moisturize. That's the key to really just keep your foundation locked in the skin. And I like to use two, two primers. I'm going to use my Ulta, my Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. This is a silicone base and even though they said it's mattifying, it doesn't give me that feel. So... I put that all over and I focus on the T-zone area. Being that, that's the area that I get really oily. I'm also going to go in with my Becca Primer. This is the Poreless Primer. You really have to be careful not to overuse this primer because it's really drying. So we don't want to be dry. That's not the goal. And today I think I'm going to do eyebrows first. I always, I always like to do my eyebrows like so I could get the vibe of the makeup that I'm doing. I really like thin brows today at this daytime. I don't want to do too much. So I'm following the natural arch of my brows. So, not the best, but we're not done yet. I'm going to use my Morphe M167 brush and then my mac concealer palette in extra deep this is the studio concealer um palette and i'm gonna use this shade to conceal my brows real quick because i don't like to travel with a lot of gadgets when i travel i never take my camera and i always somehow end up regretting it when storage be out have no fear my laptop is here so um i don't know if you guys realize what my face is like it's lighter so and i still have my regular foundation i'm gonna be using the this is a juvia's base foundation and everything is kind of rubbed off but see it's like way darker so I like to go around my contour area with it and just do highlight first. I like to go in with a concealer that is my skin tone under my eye. So I go in with the Stay Matte um, Concealer in the color Almond and this is the, the color my skin tone. This would be like a perfect foundation color too but this was just a trial. I only picked up one. I think I got it from Target. I haven't been able to find it again. So I said I was going to order it. It's my first time using this brand and I love it. So I'm just going to go over my highlighted hair. I'm going to use a concealer brush. I think this one is from Morphe and it's the Y11 brush to blend out my under eye. Um, I don't have time. I usually let it sit for a minute so I could get like um kind of more cakey under the eyes so i don't have to go in more than one time but as i said i do, i'm running late so we're blending that out bring your eyelid 
just in case you could use that for a primer if you want to use um, shadows but I'm not using shadows so guys you can see that my foundation is really dark I'm on vacation and I don't have another option in my makeup kit so you're just gonna have to make it work I'm going with in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpt Thin Concealer and I got this one in Maple. I've had this for a while. One thing I can say though is this is really worth the price. It's on the pricier side of course but it's, it's really worth it. So we're doing like a reverse contour, highlight contour method because my foundation is way too dark so we're not gonna focus on the under eye the highlighted area with the foundation i'm grabbing a, um, a brush from bh cosmetics and i'm gonna saturate it with the elf matte magic mist spray and i'm gonna take the jovius glaze foundation again and the color kenya and this is what i'm talking about guys it's way darker but darker is always good than lighter for foundation because you could really finesse a dark foundation with your concealer and stuff. But when it's too light, it kind of gives you like a cast. I don't know if the lighting, this lighting in the bathroom is really giving me like studio light. Because we're doing like a light beat, even though we're doing like a light beat, we still have to cover the neck area. Focus on the neck. And step a motion for foundation. I'm going in one more time with the concealer just to give it a more popped look under my eyes and i'm actually gonna bake bake because even though i'm going to the pool i do want to take pictures for contour i'm using the revolution glow bronzer in deep and this is like really pigmented so you just want to take a little bit on your brush and carve out your contour and it's a little bit darker also so a little goes a long way you want to get that snatch look. So I took a makeup class the other day and the teacher, she was telling us that it's still okay to um, stipple your bronzer. And I remember like another student saying she thought like we didn't stipple anymore. So she was like, nope, it's okay to do that to your um, bronzers and like blush. So I'm going to bait my face using the Sasha Buttercups setting powder. And I love this. It gives me like an orangey or yellow um, undertone. It's either this or the L'Oreal Mercier setting powder. I didn't bring that one. Just because I don't want to be traveling around with a big makeup kit. So we're setting the highlighted areas. I'm going to put some on my eyelids. Okay. I got this Morphe setting powder um, in filter 13. Um, this was supposed to be my all over setting powder. But it's too dark, so I kind of use it for bronzer. It gives me like a nice bronzy look too. I can't. Um, the makeup artist I took the class with, she actually told me to try like Fenty for uh for all over setting spray. She told me Fenty has really nice ones. She didn't know my shade though, so I would have to go to like Sephora or Ulta 
So, I'll find my shade. So guys, I don't have enough storage, so I'm gonna come back when I'm done getting dressed and just show you guys the fit and everything. guys so this is the finished look i actually really like the lighting so this is the finished look um i set the shit out of my face because i'm hoping this bead kind of just stays on i'll touch it up later but i'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day. so outfit of the day i got this set i think i got it from fashion nova i got it a long time ago probably like a year ago and i never wore it <laughs> um but it's really flowy um yeah I like it